lovely presence first thing in the morning, I Tyler know. is. I know. How lovely. Um, it's 25 minutes past eight. Eight months since it was first introduced. The job retention scheme, we know it is furlough, um, comes to an end tomorrow. During the height of lockdown, nearly a third of the UK workforce was being supported by the project, with the government paying part of people's wages. Our business correspondent, Emma Simpson, has been to Crawley to find out how those working at Gatwick Airport and within the travel industry are faring. Gatwick Airport dominates the landscape and the local economy depends on it. So when the plane stopped flying, the impact was dramatic. Horrendous, scary. We suddenly became just very unsure of, of our future. At this hotel, bookings collapsed, weddings postponed. I think we've got a plane just going over so, and we now get quite excited when we hear a plane. The owners kept things going. The furlough scheme saved them. I don't think we would have survived without it um, because I, I, I assume my only other option would have been to make everybody redundant. Some workers he had to let go and he still has five on furlough. Now that the, the, the new uh, employment support scheme has been revised and improved, we're hoping that we can keep them going. Uh, it, it's our intention simply because we're going to be very busy next year as well. So we don't want to have to make any further redundancies. Down the road in Crawley, more than 40% of the workforce was on furlough in August. This town was doing pretty nicely before the pandemic. Unemployment was low, but there are now more than three times as many people claiming benefits compared to this time last year. The furlough scheme couldn't save every job. Chris worked as a security manager at Gatwick Airport and was furloughed before being made redundant. I started there when I was 18, um, so almost all of my sort of adult life has been at the airport working, so it was, it was tough. But Chris used his time off to grow his new business, a comic shop with his former colleague. They've now taken on two other ex-airport staff. We will come back from it. Um, I think the town's strong enough to survive yeah, like, until yeah. things get back to normal. This beauty clinic used to get lots of cabin crew and holiday makers through its doors. As a limited company director, Melissa had to survive off her savings instead of furlough. She's found new clients now. There's just one problem. I'm really worried about another lockdown because we were the last to come back um, last time. So because we're close contact and everything that we're, we're doing is so close to the face, um, you know, it did take so long for us to come back. I just, yeah, pray, pray there's not another lockdown. An airport town trying to weather the storm and hoping for brighter days ahead. Emma Simpson, BBC News, Crawley. Time now to get the news, the travel and the weather where you are.